Hey yo, what's up? So yeah, today I'm going to show you how to use your hands with the Oculus Quest 2. If you think about it, your hands make a fantastic VR controller. I mean, you already know how to use them, they never need to be charged, and best of all, they are really, really hard to lose. If you mainly have a VR headset for watching movies, uh, socializing with friends, and browsing the internet, then hand tracking is enough to get you started. It's far easier, cheaper, and more natural. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. It's going to be amazing. So I hope you are going to uh, enjoy this video. Now it's time to jump into the metaphors and uh, check it out. Let's go. Cool beans. So here we are inside uh, Oculus Home. From here we can start using uh, the hand tracking. What you want to do is head over to the settings, device, scroll down until you bump into hands and controllers, click on that, and over here you can enable the hand tracking by simply flipping the switch. That's all, it's super straightforward, I know, and uh, if done, you can close the, the settings and put your controllers on the floor. Your hands should now appear in front of you, yes, and uh, this is what they look like in uh, VR. They are transparent so you can see what you are selecting uh, within the menu and when I turn around it's, it's still able to track my hands just uh, fine. It's uh, true magic and trust me the first time you use this it will blow your mind. So enjoy. But let's dive into the basics. If you want to select something in the menu you do that by pinching your uh, index finger and your thumb for a short moment. Like this. You see? And that's how you navigate through all of the categories in, uh, for example, the store. And uh, with that you can scroll down or scroll uh, up and go left and right. You can do this with uh, both uh, hands, but I'm right-handed so that's why you see me using uh, this one uh, the most yes last but not least but most importantly if you quickly want to go to your browser to your social page tv store and home then you can do that by holding your fingers together for a longer period of time this is how you make the quick actions menu uh, appear or uh, or disappear so let's uh, head back to the store and let me explain to you how you can uh, figure out what game supports hand tracking and which game doesn't. So the easiest way to find out is by going to the search bar and uh, select hand tracking. And then it will show you a couple of apps that work like Waltz of the Wizard, Elixir, The Line and The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets. If you want to double check, just uh, go to the game's uh, details, more info, and then it will tell you if it supports hand tracking. This is the icon you want to you wanna look for. This is the official uh, rating. Yeah. If you find one of these uh, interesting, then install them with just your hands. Welcome uh, to the future. And um, you do the same when you, when you buy a title. Just fill in the details and uh, before you know it, you are inside the, well, for example, the curious tale of the stolen uh, pets. Okay, so let me also demonstrate uh, what the browser uh, looks like. In the browser, you will be using the keyboard the most, but you can also uh, use these uh, shortcuts that will take you straight away to the website uh, you want. But let's say you are going to use it, then this is, uh, this is how it works. You can type with one or two hands. I like to use one because uh, the keyboard is far away. If it was just here, then I would do it the, the casual way, but I can't. Maybe Oculus will, uh, will update that. That would be really, really useful for sure because that will make, you know, using the menu even easier and more natural. If you haven't subscribed already, then maybe do so. 
lets me know uh, you care. The future of gaming is going to be all about VR glasses, haptic suits, gloves, simulators and loads of other next level stuff. On my trip to Asia, I got to discover this wonderful world and learn tons about how virtual reality is slowly shaping the next generation of gamers. You can uh, go uh, full screen too, of course. Immersion overload. Oh, what a pleasure for the eyes. One of the companies that I got to visit during my adventures was Cat VR, a passionate team of people that have taken the lead on bringing omnidirectional treadmills to consumers. They had invited me to come over and give feedback on one of their prototypes. That's the browser in a nutshell. You can uh, change the video quality, etc, etc. And when you sign into your uh, favorite website, you can also leave comments, like uh, things and, uh, and more. So what I'm trying to say here is that literally everything in the menu works with the hand tracking. It's all compatible. The settings, the share features like recording, take photo, go live and cast. And uh, even if you want to add some friends that you might know, then you can do that uh, too. So um, yes, why don't we uh, dive into uh, one of the hand tracking uh, experiences. I have a few, but uh, my favorite one is definitely Waltz of the Wizard. So let's do that. It should seamlessly take me there without me having to worry to grab my controllers. If I do launch an app like Onward that does not support it, then it will ask me to grab my controller. So there's no way you can cheat the system. So let's uh, do Waltz of the Wizard. Yay, we're inside. <laughs> this is one of the most magical VR experiences uh, that you can play. And it shows perfectly what you can do with hand tracking. So let me uh, uh, show you one of my favorite uh, tricks in this game. <laughs> I can turn my, my hands into a slingshot. <laughs> Seems legit. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not done yet. Woo! I'm on a roll. Oh. No! You've missed five. Given up, huh? What? <gasps> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Yes! <laughs> Hello! Hey! Don't forget to like this video! Thank you. Thank you so much for letting us know. <laughs> so let's try one of the spells. Super size. It is. A wizard once became annoyed at catching two small fish. Ooh. So he made a potion that would make <laughs> them bigger on his dish. Whee! Oh, oh, my fit on the table. Oops. Gold. I love gold. Oh, I'm gonna try to catch it. Whew. Nice one. Let's now make things tiny. Planted by a witch who had a closet full of junk. She imagined. Ah, too small! Too small! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I got What's your nose. Or, well, you don't really have a nose. Oh. Hey. What happens if I throw you into the... Be careful. Whoa. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. Transmute. A single touch from cursed hands makes objects fly and flutter by. Hold very still for the oh. land. And you may Did you see that? The butterfly. <laughs> Crazy! Oh, this game is jam-packed with with spells. So there we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's play some music. If you drop something in Waltz, then just do this. <laughs> I'm a wizard, after all. Oh, 
a unicorn now. Look at me go. Hmm, look at this special potion. What if... Ah! <laughs> Eat the home phone. <laughs> what the heck? Ah! The pot is not intended as a child's plaything. I know! <laughs> oh, what a landing. What was that? Oh, I can reach the upper shelves now. Is that the golden egg? Do I now control the oasis? That would be uh, fantastic. So to end up this video, let me show you how you move in this uh, in this game. So you point your finger like this, and it works with smooth logo too. It's a genius, it's one of the best mechanics I've ever seen. Little. Ah! <laughs> oh. So with that being said, let's jump to the outro and uh, end this video. Let's go. <laughs> if the hand tracking is this good, then you start to wonder why are we still using controllers and why is Oculus not bundling a Quest 2 with just your hands? Because that would cut the price immensely. It would make it so much cheaper because the controllers are quite expensive. And remember, when Facebook said they wanted a billion people in VR, they weren't only talking about the gamers. They are also talking about folks who want to use their standalone VR headset just to watch movies with, to socialize with friends and browse the internet. In that case, hand tracking will do the trick. And I'm curious if, if Oculus will push towards that idea where they are going to cater different audiences with different bundles. I would be totally up for it because I think it will uh, you know, bring us closer to the tipping point of VR going mainstream. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm, uh, I'm very eager to hear your opinion on this subject. But yes, hand tracking is accurate enough to, uh, to serve the, the bigger crowd. Uh, it's going to be uh, exciting for sure to see where it's going to take us. But with that being said, I want to thank you so much for watching. And now it's time for me to, well, sign off. And as I always say, and I see you all next time. See you in the metaphors. Bye-bye. Oh, and like this video if you thought it was useful. Thank you.